from aerospace engineering to physicists to criminal justice. Canadians have continued to etch and engrave their names in various industries and specialty fields around the world. They have become a beacon of hope for many seeking to pursue their dreams, despite the challenges and many setbacks. Dr. Oslin Fraser is one such Canadian who has defied the odds and personal traumas to forge ahead and be a living testimony. Her pursuit in a PhD in criminal justice was not without its major setbacks. So in the middle of through my PhD, my son died. That was my only child. Um. <laughs> Sorry. She told GBN in honoring her son, she took a semester off and dived right back in. So he died and, um, you know, I really wanted to give up. I really wanted to stop there because, you know, I just had to reevaluate so much different things in my life. And then I, um, you know, because I know something he really wanted me to do. And, you know, it's just so kind of like my dissertation is something that even before I went into my PhD, something that him and I talk about, how am I, you know, what it is I want to do, what is my dissertation. Dr. Fraser, who has a background in social work, initially from Grenada and also worked in the criminal justice system, has been pairing the two together. I think that it's something that is to really change the stamina, that the, the stigma, some of the stigma, the stigma that is attached to incarceration, or the stigma that is attached to somebody probably sometimes making a, a you know, a bad decision and, and end up going to jail. And um, for me, my main focus is, as I say, restorative justice, where rest restorative justice look at. Um, that traditional imprisonment has not worked. You know, all the research has shown that, you know, people going into the criminal justice system has not, they come out back into the community and there's a high rate of recidivism. So with restorative justice, what it's the premise is that those people commit a crime, the, the stay in the community, they take accountability for the crime. She said the hardest part of the journey to her PhD was balancing her dissertation while working full-time, handling a divorce and grieving her son. Her brother, Nimrod Oliver, says his sister's resolve has been an inspiration to him and the family and believes it will be motivation to others. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.